Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolitz, writer for a year, and I've been a little absent, and there's a good reason for that. Now, some major milestones happen, some amazingly wonderful things, um, pivotal, you know, things in a writer's life that pretty much we wait the entire year for. And then what happened was I was afflicted. Um, I was afflicted with cold sores, and I know that's really, really gross, I'm sorry to even say. So I took a couple of trips to the doctor and some really large meds and various lotions and potions, and so that's why I was kind of out of commission filming stuff, but a lot of exciting stuff did happen. The first thing that happened was the box arrived with the book, and honestly, I mean, that, I think, is the most exciting moment. Now, I tracked it on Purolator, and I was really anxious. I wanted to leave work early and come and get the book, but, of course, you can't do that. So I messaged Brad, who'd got home sooner, and I'm like, open the box. Because I really wanted to, A, do, like, a nice reveal moment for right over here, because it's such a great moment. Usually I weep copiously. Um, the thing is, but I, I was at work and also I couldn't film anything because it looked like an alien had stuck to my face with these these wretched cold sores. So anyway, the thing was I asked him to open it because the cover was designed by my wonderful friend, designer Colin Frings. But the thing is, I did the production for it. And so I was really worried that, you know, would the spine be absolutely perfect? I'm not sure if this, this is going to work this way. Anyway, and then there's the all the stuff in the back cover. Um, and so I always worry about production. So I asked Brad to undo the box, take screen grabs. I was sitting at work, you know, oh my goodness. Anyway, pictures came in and it looked really beautiful. So I have to say, I sat at my desk and was slightly weepy for a moment. And that was then on the Friday. So um, the following Sunday was word on the street. Usually, at Word on the Street, I'm at the Sisters in Crime booth, the Crime Writers of Canada booth, the Anana booth, and the Madames of Mayhem. Fortunately, this year, I'd only booked to be at the Inanna booth and the Madames of Mayhem because my poor body was so tired, too, so it was kind of difficult even doing those, and I still looked like, you know, some awful thing. Anyway, so... Um, I really wanted to show some footage of Word on the Street and what in a great, like, amazing great event that is. So, um, at the end, I'm going to pop in some photos um, of these various things so um, that you can see. So then, of course, probably the reason why I had the cold sores in the first place was be the impending launch. And uh, in case you're wondering why I'm sitting next to uh, the remains of an anarchy cake, it's because uh, I really wanted to have a cake for the occasion, and I did the icing myself, didn't actually do that bad a job, got black icing from um, Bulk Barn, and Brad was very impressed by my icing skills. So that was coming up on Thursday, so I think hence the large degree of stress. You know, you always worry, you know, are people going to show up, how's it going to go, you know, and it was fabulous. It was really, really fabulous. So Queen books were fantastic. My beloved Inanna, like, I just thank you with all my heart. And if there was one criticism that got back to me, it was that there maybe weren't enough chairs for people because we, we, we had that bigger crowd. So if that's the only criticism, then, you know, we'll take that. Oh, and I made these earrings as well for the launch because I really wanted safety pin earrings. Went online, couldn't find exactly what I was looking for, and so I fashioned these. So you never know, I might go into uh, into my next career as a jewelry designer. So that was this past week. The the launch was last night, so and it really was a heartwarming and uplifting and wonderful experience. And you know, to read from the book is just the best thing. I I love reading from these books. I really, really do. It just it makes me incredibly happy. So. In forthcoming events, um, I have a road trip planned with some of my Madames of Mayhem. We are going up to Bracebridge to present to the University Women's Club there. So that should be fun, and I'm going to try and film a road trip for that. Um, the 10th of October, the Madames are back at the Mount Pleasant Library. We also have the launch for In the Key of 13 happening on um, Saturday, the 25th of October, 25th or 26th. It's a Saturday, and all the details are on our website, the Madames of Mayhem. Now, good omen, 
at Word on the Street, we sold out all our advanced copies. So we think this is going to be quite the hit. Also, there is, remember that secret thing that I was telling you about? Well, that, if it comes to be, will happen on um, the night before the launch. Anyway, um, I will get more specific with, with these dates uh, uh, soon. So there's lots and lots to look forward to from Writer for a Year. And I just want to, um, you know, give a shout out to my friend Terry Favreau, who gave me this amazing alas poor Yorick um, candle which may never be burnt and thank you to everybody who came to the launch and all the support online and in person and just absolutely absolutely everything and um, I just think that uh, this book is going to be really really fun to trundle around with so so there you go that's writer for a year and then also let's not forget I need to get back to the rewrites of the rage room um, I somewhat derailed you know what with was was happening etc um, and the impending launch so there's a lot of work to be done and um, onwards and upwards and I hope everybody is having a wonderful writerly time thank you